Thank you. Iba also transferred the... 10 billion naira airport fund to 32 the different accounts. Uh, Alex Oti no. alleges. The current governor the of naira, Abia State, naira, Dr. Naira, Alex Choma Oti, have finally revealed that all, former Abia State governor Ibazo transferred 10 billion naira to a Pakala account for airport project. At the area. end of the day, no airport to show for. Finally, the same account that received 10 billion naira transferred the 10 billion naira to 32 different accounts. Watch this video to the end. Make sure you watch this video to the end. Drop a comment and tell us what do you think about this video. Don't forget, also, drop a comment and tell us where are you watching this video. Don't forget, follow Casa TV on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. The, the government, the immediate past uh, governor of the denier uh, is not unexpected. First of all, when uh, it was announced, uh, they went to the media abusing the government and saying the government lied. There's nothing like that. And, um, and then when a media house that got hold of uh, the report published it, of course, the next thing is to, by the way, they didn't deny what they said is that uh, because it's been it's published it's a report by kpmg so what they said is that uh, they diverted the money into roots it's for them to come and show us the roots but what is true is that in the bank statement on the 25th of September 2020, when people were dealing with COVID, that uh, a debit went into the state account for 10 billion naira, and the description was payment for 80% contract of the Abia Airport. That is true, and it's incom incontrovertible. The statement is there, the report is there. By the way, the report will be published very soon. Yet I can assure you uh, that as uh, reported by the media, it's KPMG that did the forensic audit. On the 13th of October, and that's almost three weeks after, a letter was written by the then governor to the House of Assembly requesting for appropriation or approval of 10 billion naira for the construction of Abia Airport. On the 14th of October, one day after, a letter was written to the governor, then governor, giving him approval for the 10 billion that he required for the airport. So, clearly, something went wrong. An ISPO was raised in between these dates. So, the, our engagement with the company that received the money gave, gave an impression that the company was deceived. 
the managing director of the company said that he told them that he had never built an airport before and uh, it's not his area of competence. Neither did he apply to them to construct an airport. So the people denying, the question for them is how come when he moved into an account of somebody who has said he neither sent in a bid for an airport, nor has he the competence to construct an airport. And according to him, of course he will respond to the security agencies. But according to him, the then government asked him to move the monies elsewhere. He showed us letters from the then government to move the money in different tranches to 32 companies. And that he did on the instruction of the former government. So, like I had said, uh, the rest of the work will be done by security agencies. But what is important for our government is either that somebody is showing us at the airport or somebody is returning our money. That is what is important to us. We are not interested in all the fireworks and all the uh, abuse. We are not even interested in anybody going to jail. Except if they are telling us that somebody whose money is missing should not look for the money. Where I come from, if your property is missing, you have to look for it. I don't know about you. So we are looking for our money or in the alternative, our airport. Chukwemeka, I don't know if I've answered your question. <laughs>